Hi friends, I'm on day two building this application in seven days and that is my current progress and I would like to share how I'm using AI to move faster with app development. And yes, even I have Xcode open it here, basically most of this development is done in Cursor. I'm using just Cursor to build this application because that's currently is in very early mock-up, MVP, whatever, prototype stage. But it is already a working application and here how we get here. So Xcode is still needed to solve some Xcode problems, maybe to create test targets and so on. You still need Xcode installed. But how I build this application? Basically, I started with app idea and I started with discussion with uh, chat GPT. Here it is. Basically, I just kind of brainstormed my idea, what I would like to build. I even got some user interface, but generally I got project overview document, some user interface details, and then I dropped this project overview doc document into the cursor. That helps a lot for cursor. And then I just asked it for cursor, okay, enter architecture mode and analyze current plan and prepare kind of implementation. Here we got implementation details, and we are already starting to work on the project. There is some communication errors, <laughs> uh, building, and so on. And yeah, here some middle stage, basically, we are already checking out oh, that is done, and so on. So if you will just write to Cursor, build meditation app for me, you will get very bad result. If you will define project requirements, you will get better result already. And I always also kind of asking Cursor or AI, before we are building something, I'm just asking to write down requirements. Okay, we need to test the project and then write down what we will test. And then I'm kind of have discussion what to test, what not to test and so on. And those uh, debug modes and architect modes, of course, that doesn't come with Cursor, that is from Cursor settings. Here are my cursor rules. I have general guidelines, planner mode, architecture mode, just whatever, screenshot it, and uh, debug mode, how to debug. Then I have basically interacting with GitHub, how to do that, some Swift UI design requirements, what I would like to see, and also Xcode project things, because cursor will generate a lot of uh, linter errors when some files or classes are not imported, but in Xcode project you don't really need to import each and every class because they are globally visible and so on. Some rules about tests and so on. And then basically you can yeah, get from whatever your app idea to the working prototype very very quickly. And this basically already works, you know, you can give some, some feedback and so on. Of course, I will change the user interface, that is just first kind of version, but generally we are, we have something working already. That's kind of fun how fast you can build the app. And my friend Burhan said that it feels that I am kind of, in my videos I make him feel that applications can build very fast, but that's basically it is so. And uh, yeah, I am using Cursor also to build projects. Basically here I can just build it as well. Let's kill this application. And all you need to be able to build the project, here we are building it already. All you need basically is in plugins, this one, SweetPad. You need to install this SweetPad iOS basically plugin and then you will be able to basically read documentation how to install it and so on, and then you will be able to build iOS applications from the cursor directly. Yes, you still need Xcode build tools, you still need Xcode simulators and so on, but basically you can do not even open Xcode when you are working. And uh, yeah, depends of your rules. Basically here we already have somewhere. I can, for example, say, okay, commit and push changes and then basically cursor basically doing plenty of boring work for you. Do you still need to know how to code? Yes, because you still have to understand what exactly we are building here. You have to lead AI. It's kind of not 
cool if you will try to just whatever give some weak uh, prompts and expect good results that will never happen that's one thing another thing is that sooner or later you will run into the problems and you should be able to understand in which direction to go how to solve them and so on i will say this is nice way to get to the quick and working mvp uh, if your app is already in production you should be very very careful with ai because even whatever your rules are cursor will not take care about existing functionality and so on you can break up for current users which are using it in production while you are just playing around building your your mvp it's quite safe and it works just fine okay if you want to get my uh, cursor settings i will link them in in the profile just whatever uh, take a look for the links you will find it or yeah in youtube description yeah that's also a good place where to look for those things okay bye